How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. So in today's video, we got something very exciting for you. As you saw in the last video on the dually, we got the big nasty rims on there. How you been liking them so far? I like them. Yeah. So what's the plan for today's video? New hood. New hood. So that dent, no longer. She's gone. So with the new hood, he's going with a new style. You know, it'll, it'll fit the truck well, but nice little custom touch to it as well as a whole front end what what do you, front end what facelift facelift because he's already got the nice bumper on there we're doing a nice little something with that grill there too and it might match the wheels down there you guys are just gonna have to stay and watch all the way through to check out and see what we got planned you ready to go open that big box you got yep <laughs> let's get to it well there she is you know, I set you guys up on a time lapse we're gonna unbox it we haven't looked at it yet so we're Pretty excited to see what it looks like, right? And hopefully there's no dents in it. So we're gonna crack open this box for you right now. Oh, there you go. As you guys see, cow induction. Is that what you wanted? Oh yeah. Yeah. And looks like it's actually functional. Got the vent there. Oh yeah. You excited to throw it on? Yep. So what's the plan now? Gotta get it painted. Now that we got it unboxed, we can see that there's no dents in it. Well, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Real excited to throw it on, but it's gotta figure out what the deal with the paint is. One eternity later. So as you guys saw, we got the hood loaded up. He's about to take it off to get painted right yep so i guess they're gonna sand down this black a little bit and then throw down a coat of sealer on there and then it'll be painted blue to match the rig and i guess whenever he gets back we'll get a shot of unloading the brand new freshly painted hood out of the truck hopefully it comes out real nice and real nice and clean get some clear clear on it top of the blue you excited to get it back yeah he's gonna get headed off to the shop and i'll catch up with you whenever he gets back it'll probably be a few days because they're gonna have to take their time to paint it but before we jump to the clip where he gets his hood back from the paint shop, I actually want to show you guys a few clips we filmed a few months ago where we're putting together his new grill. And a lot of work went into getting that ready, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And we'll just jump to those clips right now. Getting rid of this factory grill. As you can see, it's kind of all messed up. Box one, it's the factory grill. Now he's going to be doing some custom work to that. And that's what's in that other box over there. I'll give a little sneak peek. Not too much. Just a little. Just a little. Oh, that's. Oh, oh. So I'm going to be taking you guys inside real quick. That way we can start the custom work on that factory grill replacement. Why don't you look a little happy? You seem sad. Pretty tired. Pretty tired. Pretty tired. Well, you better wake up because you got some work to do. Yeah. So let's jump to this right now and knock that work out. So the first step to modifying this factory grill replacement is to take this eBay special badge off. So he's going to get to work on unscrewing that, just one screw holding it on. So the next thing he's going to do this factory grill is cut out all these inners. He's going to use the Dremel over there and cut them a lot and I'll set you guys up on a time lapse and he'll knock it out all at once. Through the table. Well, we're almost there. I'm gonna cut. Get some fine tuning, some little pieces that he missed. Yep. 
Yeah. Oh, you're breathing in some smoke. Yeah, it's plastic nice. smoke. Oh, what is that? You better not be breathing in that China dust. You'll get some coronavirus. I know. <laughs> Here it is. Moment of truth. See if it's all cut out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Gonna trim up all the around little bumps, whatever you want to call it. You know Sand them down. Yeah. Make it nice and smooth. Now he is gonna have to trim back these a little bit, but he cut them like out further than he really had to because it's easier to cut more than once. But once you cut too much, it's hard to go back. And this so. goes as a notch. Well, since we're explaining, do you want to show them what's taking the, what's taking that empty void's place? Okay, you can. Yeah. You want to go show them? Right there. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You want to show them? There it is. Yeah. Just lays in there like that. Got those roadkill spikes in case you hit a deer. I don't think it'd be walking away. <laughs> That's gonna look really cool when it's all done. So we'll be finishing up here soon, and we'll show you guys an update when we when we're done. How's that Corona treating you? Horrible. This grill came from Overkill Fab. Custom grills, first to fourth of gen. And you built that on their website, right? Yeah, that's yeah. They got all different designs. You can build them, make them. Cool deal. Oh yeah. Now you could buy it all finished, you know, with that outer shell already on there. But more money. More money, and we could do it ourselves. So he wanted to take his crack at it, and we're building it at home. All right. Well, after all that time, finally got it all sanded down. It's really nice and smooth. Got all the notches all trimmed up, and he's got the V cut in there, sort of. And now it's time to install the main part. You ready? Yeah. Let's get to it. We got everything all prepped and ready to go. It's all cut out. As you can see where the bolts or the studs go, we kind of notched the plastic part a little bit. Like right here, you can see it better. That way this bracket sits even and it cinches down better and it holds it into place so we're gonna put in all the hardware that came with the grill you can see he's already prepping it there get ready to go What you think? I like it. Hold that up a little bit. Hopefully no one walks in front of your truck. Yeah. <laughs> Comment. What do you think of it? I like it. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you saw, we finished up buttoning up the grill. Got everything all installed except for a little something something. He got a new custom emblem for it, but He's gonna be putting that on when we install it on the truck. But that's after he gets a what? Hood. Brand new hood. Yeah. So that grill will be going on the truck after he gets his new hood in. So I guess we'll just jump to that clip right now. How's it going guys? So it's been a few days actually. And as you can see, he's got the hood up and he's starting to mess with it. So that can only mean one thing. And that is he got his cow hood back from the paint shop. All nice and blue to match the truck. And uh, you know, it's not might not be the greatest paint job. What, what's your opinion on it? It's good for what I paid, but it's only temporary. 
until the truck gets painted different color. Different color. Now, we're not going to tell you guys what that color is just yet. You guys just got to stick around and keep watching the videos to find out. Let's just say that it's going to be sitting pretty nice once it's all freshly painted. So, so I guess we're going to get to work taking this stock hood off. Don't you think he just runs the truck like that? He just runs the stack straight up up too. Yeah, who needs a, who needs big chungus in the bed when you can put big chungus right in front? Well guys, it's actually the next day here, and as you guys can see, we actually got the grill all mounted up to the truck, and I think it looks pretty mean. What do you think? Oh yeah. As you can see, the spikes kind of match the spikes on the new wheels. And if you guys haven't seen that video, be sure to go check that out. It's doing really good. Thank you guys for all the support. I'll put a tag up in the top corner so you guys can go check that out. You want to say anything? Thanks for watching. Yes, sir. So we're actually not done with the grill yet. We got two new little goodies to throw on it. You wanna show them the first one? Nice little Cummins badge, and it's going right here in the center. You ready to slap that on? Yep. You gotta act a little more excited than that. Yep! There it is. <laughs> you hear him up there. I guess one of the neighbors across the valley were yelling down at us. He heard the Cummins call. Just gonna clean it up a little bit and throw it on there. I'm going to have to put it on as one piece. Yeah, I thought that's what you were going to do. Take the whole thing off and just line up the bottom first because that gives you a center point. Look centered. Centered enough. What, you acting like all this horsepower is going to blow it off? Most definitely. I think it's stuck on there pretty good. Oh, that looks nice. It's official now. Yep. But, got one more thing. You want to show them what it is? Surprise box. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Are you going to put that straight? Or on an angle. Put it in both ways, see which way it looks better. So it's just two studs that run through and it just pushes through the mesh and the grill. And then those nuts twist on and that's what holds it in place. Well, after about 30 different tried combinations, he's decided to run it straight on the left side. Boom. Now it looks like we're in a cage. Yeah. The Cummins cage. Yeah, there's no escape in the Cummins cage. <laughs> My hands are too sweaty. I can't hold the thing. Maybe you can use this nice glove here. The glove storage. Yeah. 
What was that for again? When I put that fun, new fender on, it was up a tad higher. Nice. So it was rubbing. So I put the glove there until I got my hood done. Redneck engineering at its finest. Yeah! yeah! I was gonna ask if you were happy. Looks good. <laughs> Why are you always so happy? Because an eight fit down the house. I walked up here, guess what? Eight didn't fit. Now if this eight fits. All right. You're going down the house. I told you to grab a nine. What do you think this is? Oh, I think it's a 10. <laughs> Third time's a charm, go get another wrench. Third time's a charm. Hey, the, oh. ten, the 10 fits. Now you got both badges on there. I think they look pretty good. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, oh. What? I think I'm gonna take it off and tilt it. No, no. <laughs> it, I think it looks fine. I'd leave it go. Close it down. Get a final look at it. Looking mean as usual. More mods coming, right? Yep. So I think on that note, finishing the hood install and the new grill along with those badges i think we're going to wrap up the video here i well, thank you guys for watching especially with all the new support we're growing pretty rapidly couldn't do without you guys you got any comments thanks for watching that's it like nope. the video yeah thanks like the video drop a comment tell us what you guys think got a bunch of other cool videos in the lineup for this truck so before we sign off guys make sure you go give our instagram a follow i'll leave the handle down below we post occasionally to there so you can see what we're up to apart from youtube and make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future updates with the cummins or any of the other future vehicles we're going to be working on so thanks again for watching and sign off with the usual always accelerate and don't look back catch you on the next one